Hey, what's up, peeps? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, and we are back at it again. Guess what? We got a Throwback Thursday review for you. Whoop, whoop. Actually, it's not even Thursday. It's actually Monday right now. But we got this lovely lady right here. Yeah, you may have seen a review of her, and yeah, you may have already have, have her in your collection, but... Um, I just recently picked up this figure, and kind of a lot, I wasn't really intrigued, um, about the character, didn't really want to pick her up, um, but, she, like I said, she came in a lot, uh, a lot of people have already reviewed this, I think last year it came out, it was actually part of this, uh, Thanos Build-A-Figure Wave, which, oh, man, this, this was an okay wave, I'm not gonna say it was a bad wave, but the build the figure was not that great, man. This was the purple, purple Thanos. And luckily, I didn't, buy, I didn't buy any of these figures. Even though I wanted to pick up the Proxima Midnight, and I still want to pick up the Proxima Midnight. She's, like, really expensive right now. Expensive as in $40. But nonetheless, uh, you know, I remember, you know, when Proxima Midnight first came out, nobody really cared for her. And then when the new, what was it, the Dark Order or New Order you know, with Call Obsidian and Ebony Maul um, and Corvus Glaive came out. They needed her to complete that collection, so her price went up. Um, so, but yeah, I didn't buy any of these figures, which I'm kind of glad. Um, and it came with the purple, like I said, the purple Thanos, which I... Annie, shut up! That's my cat meowing in the background, man. He's, he's, I don't know, he's depressed or something. I have no idea what's going on with him. But, um, instead I held off and I got the Thanos from the first, what was the first 10 years, was it? The first 10 years with, uh, Captain America and Doctor Strange. This guy right here, which was the better Thanos. So I'm glad I held off and got this Thanos because he is an awesome, awesome figure, guys. Okay, so the only thing that I really like uh, in this way, I don't really care too much for the arm, the purple arm. Look at that purple arm, geez. Um, is I do like the pink, looks like Phoenix behind her. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued, guys. If you guys are intrigued, if you guys don't own this figure, well, you might have seen numerous hundreds of reviews of this figure. Um, but guess what? You haven't seen my review. So, yeah, today we're going to throw it back and check out this songbird and see what she's about. Because I remember when she first came out, everybody was, like, uh, you know, trying to get her or trying to pick her up. And they thought that she was so cool. Me, on the other hand, I didn't really care, you know, for the songbird. But we'll take her out and we'll review her nonetheless. So let's take her out. Nice face sculpt. That face kind of reminds me of somebody. Barbie, is that you? <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I think, you know, I've said this many times before in many reviews, guys. Marvel, uh, Hasbro, excuse me, Hasbro, you know, they knock it out the park. Hence Thanos over here. And other times, they just fall flat. Look at that booty. Whoop, whoop. She, at least she's packing back there, ain't she? Um, and this time, I'm not going to say they fell flat, but... Yeah, I just... I don't know, man. What do you guys think? You know, as a man who collects action figures... <laughs> it's just, just... I do like the design on her legs. That's a pretty cool design. Yeah, but I'm not really digging her style. I think it's just a little bit too plain and too simplistic. And these karate chop hands, man. Uh, it would be nice if she came with some interchangeable hands. I mean, listen, she's not bad. I'm not complaining. Her face sculpt is pretty nice. The gold is kind of cheap. This belt is kind of eh, kind of cheap looking. And with the pink dot here, I don't know what's, what that is supposed to represent. I like the white hair. I mean, nice face overall, so that's that's the plus with her. So here's the Thanos. Um, 
arm. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. I'm so glad I didn't get this Thanos, man. I'm so glad that I didn't uh, pick up um, this Thanos, this purple colored Thanos, guys. And here's the color differences. Look at that, man. Jeez. It's the same arm, but just a different color. Yeah, and I remember when the Thanos first came out, everybody was complaining of the purple head, how purple his head was. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's take out her... This, whatever this is. I don't know what this is. It kind of reminds me of the Phoenix. But we'll take this out. Let's see how she looks on this. So maybe this will up up the character a little bit more guys so you peg this into her back but her hair is in the way how the hell oh you slide it in like so oh, I guess you have to take off her uh, her head to do so okay and just kind of peg that into her back like so, and then you pop the head. Back on. Yeah, I mean, okay, all right. Yeah, she's not too bad, guys, I have to admit. She's not too bad. This kind of adds a different dimension to her look overall. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not hating on this character. You know, actually, I can't even remember watching any reviews on Song Songbird. <laughs> I honestly can't. So maybe I wasn't interested, and I was like, eh, you know. But uh, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. But yeah, the adding this pink, you know, phoenix-like, uh, whatever you want to call it orb it's not even an orb because the orb would be like round right uh just kind of takes it up to another level let me bring my camera down not too shabby guys actually i actually do like this character now <laughs> it added a little something special to it now you know what i mean guys i actually think uh she's pretty cool now Okay, that changed my mind, huh? All you gotta do is add a little effect for the back, give her some wings, or whatever this is, and then boom. You got a pretty cool figure. Uh, that's gonna be a pain in the butt trying to stand her, but nonetheless, um, I actually kind of like her. You know, this would be really cool, guys. Um, this would be a really cool effect um, for the Jean Grey character. You know, paint this maybe like orange or something but I actually do like her now <laughs> it took her up a notch on the uh, cool meter okay so let's go to the articulation you pretty much know the articulation her head movement is now hindered by uh, by this piece right here this pink piece because it kind of flows over this pink piece right here so you can't really get her head to move all that great uh, the shoulder pads uh, and the chest piece are removable the belt is removable if you want to cut it off you can cut it off but then again you take away from the pink detail I guess huh um, swivel elbows elbows I don't know about these arms man I don't, I don't I'm not really digging these arms or excuse me these hands I don't really know what to do with these hands. Um, overall, she had she does have some nice detail. I have to admit it. I mean, the color choice I'm not really digging because I don't know if this is like a dark green or dark blue. It's not a black. And the gold and the pink right here, it kind of does match with this. But I do like the white color overtones, and I do like the white matching with her wardrobe her chest area speaking of her chest area she does have a break upper torso break right here she can kick outwards look at that stay back stay back stalker um she had double jointed knees i showed you that guys already she has breaks right here at the upper legs 
And yeah, you know what? Not too shabby, guys. I have to admit, she's not too shabby. I mean, um, yeah, I might keep her in my collection because this thing just kind of brought it, brought this character to light, or to life, to light, to life. However you want to, prefer, however you want to choose your words. Okay, guys, let me measure this uh, figure. And if you guys are sitting me with uh, sitting through this review with me, I just want to thank. I just want to say thanks. So she stands at about six inches all the way up to her wings. She's at just a little bit under eight and a half inches, guys. So listen, these wings add a really, really nice dimension to her, man. Um, they really, really give her a nice effect. And you know what? I'm actually happy to have this figure in my collection now. That's uh. It's amazing what one little, you know, piece of accessory can do to change the character, you know, to change the figure, and, or actually to change your mind, should I say. So let me give you my rating of this figure, man. Um, not bad overall. Is she my favorite? No, I don't know much about Songbird. Here's a little read up on Songbird. I'm pretty sure it's not going to tell me much. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Cacophony? of skill and supersonic powers make melissa gold the high pitch hero songbird that's pretty much all we got of songbird if you guys are interested you could always do google i'm not google i'm just a toy reviewer man what do you want from me what do you want from me um on a scale from one to ten with ten being the highest i'm gonna give her you know what guys i'm gonna be generous and i'm gonna give her a seven you know i would probably say it would be a six because her fashion is kind of out of date. <laughs> you know, I don't like the coloring overtones. and But I do like the white. There are some good things with this uh, figure. You know, I do like the white. I do like the designs on her legs. I do like her head sculpt. And this back piece right here brings the character to life. If she, if she didn't have this back piece, she'd probably be like a five, man. Because she's not all that great. But she does have a nice face sculpt. Nice wings butterfly wings whatever you want to call them so, well songbird hence wings right so there you guys have there's my little review of songbird uh tell me what you guys think of this review have you seen any other reviews on this figure do you own this figure do you plan on picking up this figure let me know your thoughts in the comments do you like the songbird we'll leave it at that guys tell me what you guys think okay so if you like this review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to see more cool, awesome reviews like this. And there you guys have it. Just want to thank you guys for watching. And guess what? I'll catch you guys later.